Okay, movement number 10 is again a single whip. So we're going to go into movement 11, which is high pad horse, right? So what you do, okay, from the previous movement, which is waving hands like claws. So you do this three times and then you go into single whip. Okay, which I already discussed in another video how to do single whip. And from here, go into high pad horse. So what you do is you bring your back foot up, lift your back foot, and then close with your front foot, and then palms facing up. Okay, right palm going forward, left palm going back, and lift your left foot, toes pointing down. Okay, so again, from here, okay, lift your back foot, close, okay, and then right hand going forward, left hand going back, and lift your left foot, and lower your body. Talking about the technique for this. Okay, it's really something that we have already uh, talked about in another video from another move, which is repulse the monkey. Right, where instead of bringing your hand back, you are just going to bring your hand forward. Okay, and this move is pretty much the same. Right, whether you do it this side, or you do it the other side, right? So it's really, right, like when you punch, right, you have to block, okay, and then push it down, and then strike the other hand. And so the important thing here is, again, the block, right? If there's no proper block, then everything else don't work, boom, you get hit, right? Block. Not the proper block and get hit again. Block, not the proper block, boom, get hit right on the chin. Right, and this is with padding. If without padding, the impact is, is a lot stronger, right? So again, first, you have to have the proper block, right? Proper block. Okay, once you have the proper block here, both hands, okay, and you can then grab or you can just turn bring his arm down and strike at the same time yeah so again going back to usual block switch feet so it's easier so here block make sure when you think about this block right both hands are up there so just keep your hands there both hands are up there right otherwise it's not a proper block both hands have to be there okay when both hands are are there, you don't want to push his arm off your center line, right? This is normally people think about, oh, I'm blocking, boom. I bring his hand, his fist off my center line. This is incorrect thinking, okay? Because once you push his arm off your center line, it means you have no barricade. You're opening yourself up for another attack. Right? So, therefore, use his arm. Use your opponent's arm. You see? Keep it there. Now, this is a barricade for me. Now, he's open here. And he uh, cannot attack from underneath because this is, his arm is restricting his second punch. If he throw high, again, it's difficult because his arm is blocking it. So, it's important to think about blocking but not pushing the arm out of the way right just block punch 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 right i may get hit a little bit but that punch may slide off if you do your technique correctly if you don't do your technique correctly you punch boom, get hit punch boom, get hit Right, and either on the temple or on the chain. 
right? So, but then punch, you see? Again, create level change and use it as barricade, right? So one, right? And from here, the strike, this. And then if you try to throw the other punch, right, so it continue again, this side, slower, one, attack, two, okay, change angle. So from this side first, block, level change, and attack, if you throw the other hand, right, because you don't know how the punch is going to come. Right, earlier, I perceive his punch is going to come this way, I go underneath it, but it didn't result in, in that way. Right, so the, the application we were just doing, he threw the punch, and then the second punch, I end up blocking like this. So it did not go the way I wanted to be. So I wanted to go one and in the form two. Okay, inside I went one, he punches, boom. Right? Because you cannot know how the punch is go to, going to come. You can only anticipate how the punch is going to be executed and you just do the best you can. Okay, if something doesn't work, maybe along the way of executing your technique, you find another way of doing it. Yes, so this is other side, same, switch stance. Okay, one, two. Okay, again, one, two. 